Hi there, my name is Haley Hubbard, and today I'm going to be talking to you about my research, which is the evaluation of dexamethasone use in patients with diabetes for postoperative nausea and vomiting. From this point forward, I'm just going to refer to it as PONV. So according to the CDC's 2017 consensus on diabetic patients, approximately 34 million adults in the United States have diabetes. Of these patients with diabetes, 2.5 million of these patients undergo surgical procedures each year. And of those patients, 80% of them are at risk of developing postoperative nausea and vomiting, or PONV. Currently, the anesthesiology guidelines suggest that the utilization of an ondansetron as a first-line agent for postoperative nausea and vomiting, whereas dexamethasone is used as an adjunct or an alternative therapy. The use of either of these agents has been associated with a 30 to 40% decrease in postoperative nausea and vomiting. Corticosteroid use in general is associated with hyperglycemia, and hyperglycemia in the postoperative setting is associated with poor outcomes, but the mechanism behind this is not completely understood. So there are some benefits and some risk of dexamethasone use. For instance, its benefits include opioid sparing effects, better quality of recovery, and reducing length of hospital stay. The risks include hyperglycemia, as previously mentioned, so the incident, increased incidence of surgical site infections and the impairment of wound healing. So the overall objective of my research is to evaluate dexamethasone use in patients with diabetes and to evaluate its effects on glycemic control within a 24-hour postoperative period. The study to design is, this is a retrospective chart review study. Data will be collected through an EMR, EMR generated report that includes patients that meet the following criteria. Patients will be included if they have either type 1 or type 2 diabetes, they're adults, they're admitted to the surgical floors of Self Regional Hospital, they receive a dose of dexamethasone at induction, or receive a dose of ondansetron postoperatively or in combination with dexamethasone. Patients will be excluded if they are undergoing emergent cardiovascular surgeries, neurological surgeries, were COVID-19 positive at the time of surgical procedure, a part of a vulnerable population had a current infection, or used cro steroids chronically. As mentioned previously, the following information will be collected from the patient's medical charts. Patients who meet the inclusion criteria, who underwent a, a surgical procedure between February 2018 and September 2020, will be included in the study. Listed here in figure three is all the data that will be collected from the patient's medical record. My primary outcome is I want to determine the relationship between the dose of dexamethasone administered and the subsequent increase in blood glucose levels. Secondary outcomes will then compare dexamethasone to ondansetron patients or the combination of the two and determine the length of stay, the occurrence of postoperative nausea and vomiting, postoperative opioid use and pain management, and then the incidence of surgical site infections. Data analysis will include the evaluation of continuous variables with the Wilcox and Rink sum test. The categorical variables will be analyzed with chi-square test. And statistical significance will be identified as a p-value less than 0 0.05. The clinical application of this includes the overall use of dexamethasone, as it may be beneficial for PONV, reducing opioid consumption postoperatively, reducing inflammation and pains associated with surgical procedures, and a decreased length of hospital stay. Thank you guys so much for listening in. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.